In this video, we're going to talk about the top 10 CompTIA certificates that can open doors to some of the most high paying job opportunities in tech in general. And we're talking about salaries from 60 to 100K per year or even higher when you're getting started as a beginner. And as we go on, I'm going to give my rating based on well extended research. I did it before making this video and it took a lot of time as well as the jobs that you can get from having these types of CompTIA certifications and what opportunities are available to you. So without any further ado, let's get started. First up on the list, we have the CompTIA IT Fundamentals or ITF+. And this one is going to provide you with a broad understanding of IT concepts and terminology. It is perfect for beginners who are new to the industry and want to get a solid grounding in IT basics. You're going to learn about different things like the fundamental IT concepts. You're going to learn about infrastructure, applications, software development and database fundamentals. And I know that hearing that curriculum can kind of sound like it's going to be a lot, but really it's a great beginner program to get your foot in the door as the program covers a wide range of fundamental IT topics that you need to know as a beginner in the field. In terms of job opportunities after this one, you can kind of step into different entry level roles like the IT support specialist, the junior systems administrator, or a help desk technician, which is going to be probably the most common role when people get started. I would rate this one a 8 out of 10 because it is a very solid option, but it is kind of limited to foundational knowledge and to really get a job or at least the high paying ones, you will need further certifications or further skills for more advanced roles in general. The next one is going to be the CompTIA A+. And this one is one of the most popular ones. And this certification has been trusted by many employers for over 20 years now. You see, it's not just a widely recognized certification that kind of validates your skills, but it also covers a range of different topics needed to start any career in the IT industry. And that's why there are so many companies looking for the CompTIA A plus certification in their job listing, for example, for help desk jobs or just IT roles in general. And while no prior experience is required, having a basic understanding of computers and technology is going to be very beneficial. And the CompTIA A plus is going to help you develop skills in networking, in operating systems, in mobile devices, and a little bit about security and different operational procedures as well. I would give this one a 9 out of 10 because it's going to focus on a lot of essential skills and it is highly in demand by employers. Now next up on the list, we have the CompTIA Network Plus. And if you do want to showcase your expertise in kind of managing, installing and configuring basic network infrastructures, this certificate is definitely going to be a great option because you'll learn a lot about networking. And in CompTIA Network Plus, we'll focus on networks concepts, infrastructure, network operations and security, which is also very important because you don't want to get breached which will all prepare you to handle various network challenges in your company. And with this certificate, you can apply for positions like network administrator, network technician and network support specialist. And you also don't need any prior experience or degree to get this one. And that being said, I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 as well, because I do think that if you're looking to focus on networking, which is very in demand and there are a lot of people looking for these skills, I do think that it's a very good option and especially that it's not as competitive as some of the other fields in IT. It's also highly in demand because the field is not as competitive because it's not really as popular and known to be as sexy. So there's going to be more opportunities if you actually decide to focus on networking. The next one is going to be the CompTIA Security Plus certification and cybersecurity is really popular and in demand right now. So this one is obviously going to be a pretty good option for most people but you will need to be kind of a specific person to enjoy and really thrive in cybersecurity. So we're going to cover this as well. This one is going to require you to know the key concepts, including network security, threat management and risk assessment, and kind of focusing on various types of attacks and vulnerabilities. You will also need to study secure network architecture and design, identity and access management, cryptography and incident response. And I know that all of this can sound very big in our heads when we're getting started, but simply put, it's going to teach you the fundamental things of cybersecurity or require you to learn them whatever way you want to learn it, whether you're going through their own course or if you're learning it on the side. And it's going to be very important for high paying cybersecurity jobs. Now for this one, you're generally speaking going to need to have some IT experience or something to break into cybersecurity. A beginner is not just going to be able to get this one and generally speaking, get a job right away. It is slightly more competitive and you will also need more experience because cybersecurity is a very important role. 
And for that reason, I think that if you're a complete, complete beginner with no background in IT, one of the other ones is probably going to be more important for you in the beginning to kind of get started. And now we're going to get into some of these that are not as popular. And I do think that it's, you know, they are very popular, but they're not as well known amongst the general public. But they are some very good opportunities, and some of these are really hidden gems. And the first one will be the CompTIA Cloud Essentials Certification. And this one is going to provide you with a basic understanding or a basic certification in cloud computing concepts and its best practices. It is perfect for those looking to enter the cloud computing space and kind of understand its impact on businesses and just work with it in general. And it is a very, very important field right now and it's growing at a huge pace and there are a lot of job opportunities that ask for cloud computing skills. So this is going to be a great option as well. It's going to let you explore different cloud service models like infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service, as well as kind of deployment models like public, private, and hybrid, and many, many more things about cloud. And with this cert, you can pursue roles such as the cloud support specialist, and depending on your experience and your prior knowledge, you can become a cloud project manager, you can become even a cloud engineer, but that's usually going to require more skills, and it's not really the thing that you're focusing on after this one specifically. And I don't think a total beginner is going to make the most use of this one if you're not focusing on something else, but if you can combine it with something else, it might be a really good option as well. Now, one that's going to be a little bit more advanced is going to be the CompTIA Cloud Plus. And this is a certification that's more comprehensive and it focuses on cloud infrastructure and services, validating your skills and managing and optimizing cloud environments. And whereas the other one is more focusing on the general understanding of cloud, this one is more focusing on the practical skills and actually working with cloud. And it's designed for those looking to deepen their understanding of cloud technologies and their kind of practical applications. And other key topics of the curriculum of this program is going to be cloud architecture and design, cloud security, cloud deployment and operations, and then kind of cloud troubleshooting and support, because that's going to be a, a big thing as well. And the CompTIA Cloud Plus is actually often recommended by employers because it demonstrates professional expertise in cloud computing and working with cloud environments, especially as businesses increasingly rely on cloud solutions today. And with this one, you can apply for roles such as a cloud administrator, cloud engineer, or system administrator, but your opportunities are also going to depend on your prior experience. Just keep that in mind. As with pretty much all of these, it's not just one certification that's going to do everything for you, but rather how you combine your prior experience, your other skills, your knowledge, and different certifications into kind of a package. And the next one is going to be the CompTIA Linux Plus. The CompTIA Linux Plus cert is a gateway to kind of understanding and managing and working with Linux systems, which are crucial for servers and for cloud environments as well. There are many different jobs where Linux skills are highly in demand, and here you'll kind of learn the basic command line operations, file system management, user and group administration, and different permissions and everything with Linux in general. You also don't need any prior experience in Linux or other systems for that matter to get this one, although you will have to study significantly, of course. And with this one, of course, depending on your prior experience and what you're doing, you can become a Linux administrator, a system administrator, and even a DevOps engineer, which are all kind of integrating Linux into their work, and all of which are considered very high paying jobs in the industry as well. And the next one is going to be the CompTIA Server Plus, and this one is definitely one to keep your eye on. And as you can pretty much tell, it's going to work with servers. That's kind of the name of it. And it's going to cover key areas like server administration, storage management, and virtualization, and cloud and different technologies. And with this certificate, you can pursue roles like server administrator, systems administrator, and IT operations manager. And there's no formal experience required for this one, but if you do have some kind of IT knowledge, it's definitely going to help. And I would give this one, you know, a little bit lower score because it's going to be pretty challenging for beginners and it's not going to be the most specific thing that's going to lead you to a job right away. But if, again, if you can combine it somehow, it's going to be more useful. And the next one on the list is going to be the CompTIA Project Plus, which is a certificate ideal for those looking to gain a foundational understanding of project management principles and practices. And it's going to equip you with essential project management skills needed to successfully manage projects of any size. And we're talking about the project lifecycle, project roles and responsibilities, planning, scheduling, risk management, and even communication with stakeholders and just all the stuff a project manager would do. And I know that it doesn't sound like an IT job because it's kind of not. 
Now, while you can definitely work as an IT project manager or you can work with IT, you're still a project manager and your role is not necessarily IT. You are more a project manager and that's pretty obvious by the title. But this certificate can help you develop skills in project planning, execution, monitoring and communication, which are all really important parts of the business process. And the CompTIA Project Plus is also recognized across various industries, making it a versatile certification that applies to many fields beyond just IT. With this certificate, you can pursue roles such as Project Coordinator, Project Manager, IT Project Manager, and Operations Manager. And I would give this one a pretty high score as well. It's a great option. Now, I also made a video about Google and Microsoft certificates and many more companies on Coursera, which actually went viral and was highly appreciated. So check it out somewhere on the screen if you're interested, and I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.